So I was originally going to make a follow-up video on the correct way to use a Magatoki Strategize. But then I tried using it on Masakado and he proved to me that he's him with a capital don't try that weak shit on me. I actually missed! But that got me thinking. Why not damage craft with it? Which is why in this video I'm going to be creating the strongest Parasaline Blur ever. Or at least in theory. For this video, I'm going to be facing regular Masakado and I'll be playing on Godborn hard mode. I had thought about using Satan or True Sakato, but Satan needs a little bit of manipulation to make him into light, and I don't want to hit him with anything else but Parasaline Blur. True Sakato, on the other hand, is more likely to kill me while I drop his stats, so I can't reliably use him either. In order to get the most damage possible, I'm going to be using the following demons Satan, Beelzebub, Demifiend, Hoang Long, Dakini, and Anubis. Satan will be providing us with the Taylor's Glory. A very powerful Maga Sui skill that multiplies the power of your next attack by 3.5. You also get a pierce effect, but that's not really important considering Masakado has no resistances. Beelzebub is undoubtedly the most crucial demon in the roster because they'll let me use a Magatoki Savage. This gives us double damage and will stack on charge skills like Impaler's Glory and Omnipotent Succession. As for how I'm going to build up enough meter for that to even happen in the first place, Demifiend will be using Chaotic Will to cut Masakado's turns down from 5 to 3. In those turns, if I'm lucky enough, he'll either strike me so I can dodge the attack and get Parasite and Blur ready, hit Satan and lose all three of his turns from his drain effects, or hit Demifiend and lose two. Either way, we get to Maga so we gauge back for it. Hoang Long, Dakini, and Anubis are all here for the same reason. They're innate skills. Each one of their skills will be buffing Parasite and Blur in one way or another. The idea here is to hit Masakado in two different ways. The first way being using a combination of Impaler's Glory and a Magatoki Savage. The other would be to replace Impaler's Glory with Omnipotent Succession instead. Trust me, I would love for there to be a way for me to use Impaler's Succession and Savage at the same time, but unfortunately, Impaler's and Succession just don't stack. Okay, enough talking. Time for some big boy damage. My first attempt will be done with the following build on our blue boy. I also didn't bring out Dakini because I thought that for some reason with max luck I was doing anything else but critting. So the damage was very lukewarm. For my next attempt I swapped out Light Pleroma for Critical Zealot. Again, a slight error but it still bumped the damage up a considerable amount. I still think we can do a bit more though. For my third attempt I had equipped myself with Light Pleroma, High Light Pleroma, and Critical Zealot. Not bad, but still not the best. 120,000 isn't bad at all though. Now we can move on to the attempts done with Omnipotent Succession. Just so you know, I haven't changed my build since the last attempt. But the increase in damage is staggering. In spite of that, I think the attempt that I'm most proud of would have to be the second one you're about to see right here. I went ahead and gave myself both the Light Pleromas, both Physical Pleromas, and Critical Zealot for this attempt. So I guess to no one's surprise, hitting four times is better than hitting once. Even though I did a lot of damage here, I didn't end up getting a knockout in one hit. So I still feel like I'm missing something in a kind of way. If anybody else has some ideas on how I could get even more damage out or possibly even get a knockout in hard mode with Masakado here using Parasoline Blur, I'd love to see your comments below. All right, that's enough experimenting for today. You can go back to playing Metaphor now. Oh my God! He's